Today, I'm going to talk to you about creating a nicknamed Google Meet for students. Some benefits of doing this are that only participants in the Oldham County domain can join. Nicknamed Meets can also be reused, and giving your Meet a nickname can prevent students from entering the Meet before you or rejoining the Meet after you leave. In Oldham County, we do have some expectations for creating nicknamed Google Meets for students. First, you should only share the nickname and not the link with students. The teacher should always be the first one in and the last one out, and the nickname should be unique but easy to remember for students. I'm going to show you how to create this nicknamed Google Meet. First, you can go to your waffle here and click on Meet or you can go to meet.google.com and then you will click join or start a meeting. This is where you will give your meet a nickname and then click continue. And then join now. And you can see here that it says Manning Meet Test which is the nickname that I gave this meeting. It also says that only that this can only be used within Oldham County Schools web. You'll notice here that I've got this link, a phone number and a pin number, but we don't want you to share this information with students. We only want you to share that nickname with students um, just for security purposes. Now I'm going to talk to you about Google Meet nicknames in Google Classroom. So Google Classroom Meet links are automatically nicknamed and I've got a screenshot here for you just as an example. When I turn on this Meet link to be visible for students, the link shows up here and this back code is the nickname to the Google Meet. Best practice is to turn off the Meet link and reset it each time you finish a Meet. And then when you're ready for your next Meet, you can enable that in Google Classroom. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Again, you can either go to your waffle and click on Classroom, or you can go to classroom.google.com. And I'm going to use this Miss Manning VLA just as an example for you. So I'm in my Google Classroom. You can see that the Meet link is here. I'm going to go to my settings and scroll down just a little bit. You'll see that the Meet code is here. In order to reset it, I am going to click on this little triangle and hit Reset. And then I'm going to make it so that it is not visible to students. So I will click on that little button and it is gray. So I know now that students will not be able to see it, but you wanna make sure that you click save up in your top right hand corner. And I, I know that it is disabled or not visible to students because it has this eye with a line through it. So I can see it as the teacher, but students cannot see that meet link. When I'm ready to start my meet again, I'm gonna to go to the settings, scroll down and just make it visible for students. I've already reset that previously. So now all I have to do is just click this visible to students button and hit save. And again, you'll see that it's visible to students because it's got this camera icon here. And just remember that we want to make sure that we're resetting that code and making it not visible to students when we're not actively using it. Thank you so much for watching.